everybody, it's Kelly Atchison coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I have a really cute and fast card for you. I think this is perfect for a boy's birthday. This is the little jewel I made. Isn't it adorable? I have some tips to show you about this curly little string on the front with my balloon. And I'll show you just how fast and easy this card is to make so when you're in a pinch and you need a card quick, you can whip one up too. Let's get started. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat that I've simply covered with paper. I really like to stamp on these. They make your stamped images um, turn out a lot nicer. I am using the Your Sublime stamp set. This has got some really cute little images in it. I really like this one. And I'm happy to see that it's not retiring. So you'll see more um, from this set from me. I also chose a greeting from the Sweet Saying stamp set. I love the, the words that say, they say it's your birthday. So I'm going to use that on the front of my card. Our black archival ink pad is one of the harder pads. It's not the soft and squishy. And of course it's archival. I really like it. My front whisper white layer is four by five and a quarter, and I'm just going to take my greeting and I'm going to stamp it right over here in the middle of my card. Next, I'm going to come in with the paint splotches from the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set. This is another one of my favorites. I love to use this as elements on cards with almost any stamp set. The green that I chose is Cucumber Crush. And I'm going to ink up my stamp, and then I'm going to stamp it off once. I don't want it to be too dark. And I'm going to stamp that right over my greeting. We're going to bring in the cute little frog from the Your Sublime stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp him as if he's just peeking in. One thing I noticed when I was making these cards, I needed kids cards. It's our theme for our team swap this month. And so I thought of this set right away. But one thing as I was stamping this, I noticed I don't want the feet of my frog to be up here because we're going to put another layer on. And it just looked a little goofy with the feet sticking out. So if you're going to make this card, watch that. Next, I took a layer of Cucumber Crush. This is two and a quarter inches wide by three and seven eighths. And I ran it through the softly falling embossing folder. I love this embossing folder because it made it reminded me of the skin of a frog. Sometimes they're kind of bumpy and warty. I'm using liquid glue here. That's my favorite medium. And I've just got a real thin little layer around the outside, about a sixteenth inch around these three sides. Then I took our little banner punch and our gold glimmer paper and punched out a little banner. This just adds a little bit of glitz to our card. I'm going to put that right up here. That adheres better using snail adhesive. A little piece of baker's twine and a bow is perfect for my embellishment on my banner. And I just like to take, I like to take the mini glue dots and roll them up. So because you know they're flat and they're round and this way they won't be sticking out so much from underneath my tiny little bow. This is a great thing to do with your smaller embellishments. And now for our balloon. The balloon celebration stamp set is one of my favorite out of the Occasions mini catalog. I'm really happy that this is carrying over to the big catalog too with a matching punch. So you can get this stamp set and punch at 15% off right now in a bundle. If you wait until the new catalog comes out in June, it's no longer bundled, so you have to buy them separately. I've got a scrap of Whisper White here, and I am going to stamp the little dotty images for the smaller balloon. And when you stamp that for your punch positioning, you need to do it upside down. How do you think I found that out? So it's upside down. I'm coming in here. My balloon is upside down also. And I'm just going to match that up. I'm going to take this white baker's twine and I'm going to attach a small piece of it onto my balloon. 
with just a little piece of scotch tape. I like that I can make the string stay in place so it's coming out of the bottom of the balloon. Get your tape nice and close down there and a dimensional to pop that up. And then here's the little trick that I wanted to show you. I learned this at our on-stage convention in Salt Lake City a couple weeks ago. You can take your bone folder and you can actually curl this baker's twine just like you're curling ribbon on a package. Isn't that cute? I love how that looks. Who knew, right? And here comes our balloon. I'm just going to put that right up here. I've got a cucumber crush card base here. Make sure you're not using too much of this liquid glue on your cards. It'll, uh, first of all, it'll be messy. We don't like messy. Well, I guess we do. We're stampers, right? But you don't want to see the lumps of glue coming through. Very, very little is necessary to hold your cards together. I'd like to stamp the inside because I think that's just as cute as the outside. I chose a big happy birthday stamp for the inside of my card. It's big and bold. It screams happy birthday. And then we're going to stamp our frog again. And notice how the words down here, totally awesome, they're not showing up when I'm making my card. I'm just kind of holding it down a little lower. If you'd like to, you can actually cut that rubber apart and you'll have two stamps, one that says totally awesome and the other one with the frog. And they are your stamps. You can do that. I had somebody I told that to and they were totally shocked and I said, what? They're your stamps. You can cut them apart. You can do anything you want with them. If that's how it's going to be easier for you to use them, by all means. Last but not least, to pull in the glimmer paper, I wanted to add a few of our gold sequins. I just love these sequins. They come in several different colors and they really make the card fun. They add just that tiny little element that takes your card from, oh, that's cute, to wow, what a great idea. Fine tip glue pen is perfect for gluing down these tiny little elements. This is the way I prefer to do it because they're kind of hard to hold on to. So just put your little dots of glue on your card and then drop them into it. So here's our card. Isn't that adorable? And it's so quick and easy. Love this for a little boy. You could actually do this in pinks for a little girl. Pink and silver glimmer with silver sequins. That would be adorable too. Don't forget your envelope. There's nothing funner than opening up your mailbox and finding an envelope that's all decorated. And I'm going to bring in our new stamp called I'm Bringing Birthdays Back. This is a big social media thing going on right now with Stampin' Up! Because there's not a lot of people sending birthday cards. They're wishing people happy birthday on Facebook and through email. Let's bring real birthday cards back. How about that? That's a great combination. Thanks so much for stamping with me. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. We have a brand new catalog coming out in June. It's going to be mailed to my customers the end of May directly from Stampin' Up! If you would like to have one of those catalogs, you can get one free by placing an order through me. You can contact me through email at kelly at stampabove.com. You can check out my blog, stampabove.com, and contact me that way, too. Let me know if you'd like to get your hands on our brand new catalog. I've seen it, and it is amazing. I can't wait to start playing with some of the stuff in there. Add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.